So what is inflation? Inflation is simply an increase in the general level of prices of goods and services in an economy. So inflation doesn't mean all prices are going up simultaneously. Some prices might be going up, others might be going down. What we're interested in is the average price level. So when the average price overall goes up, then we say inflation is occurring. Because the prices going up outweigh the prices going down. So, how do we measure inflation exactly? Well, what we'll need is the percentage change in a price index. So the price index is a single number which is going to represent what's happening with the general level of prices throughout the economy. Now there's a number of different price indexes that could be used because we can think of different categories of goods and services that we might be interested in. So for example, we might be interested in um, the prices of goods that producers buy. We would have a producer price index. Or we might be interested in the goods that consumers or households tend to buy. That would be a consumer price index. Or we could have some combination of the two. We would have a general price index, or sometimes called an implicit price deflator. Anyway, the most commonly used and cited price index is the consumer price index. Now, this measures a weighted average of prices of the goods and services purchased each week by the average urban consumer or household. So the Australian Bureau of Statistics surveys households, finds out what the average household puts into their shopping basket each week, draws up that shopping list for itself, and then it goes shopping each month to find out what's happened to the general level of prices of that shopping basket. So once it's found that out, it can then say what's happening to the price index. So if we start off with a price index of 100 in 2011, if the price index were to rise, to 105, so we start off with a base year of 100, 2011. In 2012, if the price index goes up to 105, then we know that prices will have risen by 5% using that price index. So we're interested in the percentage change in the price index. So that's simple enough. We know how to find percentage changes for anything. It's new minus previous over previous times 100. And that's for anything. Percentage change in your height is your new height minus your old height divided by your old height times 100. That's how much you've gone up, increased in size or height as a percentage. So let's say the price index has gone up from 125 to 130. So we're currently at 130 the previous year the price index was 125. So 130 minus 125 over 125 times 100 gives you 4%. So there we go. We calculate the price, the inflation rate in that way.